Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Google Docs Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to use Google Docs Outline. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're only looking for tutorial videos, there will be links in the description box below. Google Docs Outline is a feature that lets you uh, see the overview or summary of your Google Docs. Uh, and this is very helpful if you have a long or large document. So you can just kind of like, you know, surf through the whole document or many pages just uh, having a glance. And today I can, I'll show you how to create Google Docs Outline in your Google Docs. So the first thing you want to do, uh, you have to just make sure that, you know, this feature is enabled and you can check that by going to view, which is on, on going to be on the upper left corner. So if you click here, view, and then if you scroll down to show document outline, then this has to be checked. So if this is checked, that means that this feature is enabled. And if you're looking for the shortcuts, which is right here, you can use that too. So once you have this uh, uh, option or feature enabled, then it's going to start, you know, creating outline uh, based on what you want to do. So for example, right now, this is the Google Doc outline kind of like, you know, a small tiny uh, box. Uh, it's like hidden. So if you click here, then you can see that uh, there's no outline yet because I haven't asked Google Docs outline to create any outline. So we have an article here, which is from my Egypt travel. And uh, I have the full Egypt travel uh, videos on this channel, which is going to be under Egypt travel playlist. So this is just an article. And uh, the first thing you want to do that your first uh, outline is going to be the title of the document. Uh, so which is going to be this wording or sentence, Murphy's Irish pub restaurant in Luxor. Uh, so let's say if you want this line to assign as your title, then what you have to do, you put your cursor here and you can see that right now, this is appearing as a heading one. So you wanna just like, you know, change that to title. And if you just, you know, do that, then you can see that this is showing on the left under outline section. And this is now the title of the outline. So now let's say if you want to create other sub outlines or subsections, then the options you have, uh, if you just click on here, then you can see that there's like uh, heading one, heading two, heading three. So what it means that, you know, heading one is kind, is kind of uh, going to be your um, section, which is uh, the main heading or title under your main title. So this is, this is kind of like, you know, subsection of your article where you're going to a separate uh, section of the document, but you want to distinguish that from the rest of the document. So for example, here, I just created kind of a random name uh, mentioning heading one, and I can assign this uh, section to heading one uh, outline. So in order to do that, I have to just like, you know, put my cursor here, and then I'm going to click here again, uh, and then I'm just going to click on heading one. And if you do that, then you can see that it's created a heading one outline. So basically this is within the document, which has other subsections or, you know, sub paragraph, uh, paragraphs, and this is your like, you know, main uh, title of that paragraph. So now let's say you wanna assign this to heading two or another outline. So heading two is basically another subtitle under or subsection under your uh, page, one page or one section of the document. So you have to put your cursor here. And if you just click on here again, uh, then if you go to heading two, and if you just click on it, then you're going to see that this is under now heading two. So what this means that this is another subsection of section heading one. And you can create like this many, uh, you know, subsections. For example, there's like, you know, heading three. And I have seen going on up to heading uh, six if you just keep creating them. And then it will just like, you know, much, it will be much easier to sort through your or surf through your document. So for example, let's say you have uh, six pages of document 
and your main title is going to be your main outline which is going to be right here Murphy's Irish pub and then let's say each page has one section and you want to create them as one heading uh, outline so you just assign that main title of that page as heading one and then let's say under the heading one you have another like you know paragraph which you need to title put a title or heading uh, which is going to be like you know sub heading or subtitle so you can just assign that to heading two and that's going to be under slightly indented on the right you can see that this is not exactly underneath heading one so it just means here that this is going to be the sub heading of heading one no so now let's say i just click uh, i just create another part here uh, for example let's say i'm going to just create here heading three and if I assign this to heading three, uh, which is going to be right here, and then you can see that you know it's even indented further, indented further on the right. So you can see kind of like it's following the pattern of this is the main heading under your main uh, article, and then this is going to be under your subtitle or subheading of the main heading, and this is going to be like you know sub subheading of the main heading or heading number two so you can just like you know keep creating like that now another feature to show you that uh, these actually are active links uh, what it means that if you click on here it's going to take you to that part of the article so let's say I'm kind of looking at towards the end of the document but I want to click on the uh, title so if I click here so you can see that you know it's taking to the main title which is your main outline now let's see you want to go back to heading three so if you just click on here then you're going to be taken to the heading three so these are all done automatically you don't have to do anything here and another thing uh, uh, I want to show that if you decide to cancel or delete one part of outline or any outline then all you have to do is just click on this button right here and that will be deleted from the outline but it will not be deleted from the document or main document so let's just click X on here then you can see that we don't have the heading to here anymore but if you scroll up then you can see that the heading to is still here so what it just means that you know you told Google Docs to remove this heading to from your outline as heading to uh, now if you want to like you know uh, put it back then what you can do you can just like you know highlight that uh, right click and then uh, there should be an option to assign this to again outline and which is going to be right here add to document outline so if you just click on here then you're going to see that this is back again under heading two so this these are the basics of creating um, subsection or uh, Google Doc outlines now if you want to get rid of the whole outline section on the left then you have to just kind of like you know uh, go back to the way you started uh, showing the outline and that's going to be kind of click on view and if you just check this off show document outline then you can see that you know the document doesn't have any outline anymore and then let's see if you want to put them back then just uh, view and show document outline in general I don't use this feature if my article is just like in you know, one page or a couple of pages I don't use that but let's see if I'm writing a book or writing a huge like you know article or like in a long document then this feature is very handy and your uh, readers definitely would sub, uh, appreciate that like you know sorting through the whole documents without actually going to each pages that's the purpose of creating Google Docs outlines so that's all for today Thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.